this video, I'm going to explain to you how to calculate the pH of strong acids and strong bases. Now, I'm only focusing on strong acids and bases because the method to calculate the pH for those is much simpler than for the case of weak acids and weak bases. When you have a strong acid, you know that it completely dissociates in a, in a solution. So what we want to find out is the concentration of hydrogen ions. And when you have a, a strong acid, that number will be pretty easy to, to determine. Whereas if you have a weak acid, it's a little harder because it, they don't dissociate completely. So you have to do a little more calculations. But I will make a video on the calculation of the pH of weak acids and bases after this one. So as soon as it's up, I'll, I'll make sure to link it to this video. So right here, you can see are the three formulas you need to know to be able to determine the pH and the pOH of a strong acid and a strong base. The pH is equal to the negative log of base 10 of the concentration of hydrogen ions. The pOH is the negative log base 10 of the concentration of hydroxide ions, so OH minus. And the addition of the pH and the pOH will always be equal to 14 for the same compound. An easy way to remember that is to associate the P with the negative log base 10 of X, or wh whatever you have. So for pH, X is the hydrogen ions, so then you have the concentration as X. But I talk more about this on the previous video, which is the overview of pH and pOH. I will also link that to this video if you want to know more about that. So now that you know these three formulas, what we're going to do is solve two different examples, one in which we have a strong acid, such as H HCl, and one in which we have a strong base, such as NaOH. So let's see how to solve that. So we're going to start with the strong acid. So as you can see here, we have 0.01 molar of HCl. So this is the concentration of the acid. And the first thing you want to do is to always write down the chemical reaction. So we're starting with HCl, and that's aqueous, and that will react with water because we're making this a solution, and that is liquid, and then that will form the hydronium ion, which is H3O+, which is aqueous, and chloride in this case because we're using HCl and that is also aqueous because it's an ion. So that's our chemical reaction and what, what you want to focus from this is on the concentration number. So we said we started with 0 0.01 molar of our acid HCl and because it's a strong acid it will completely dissociate and our concentration of hydronium will also be 0 0.01 molar. So that is the value that you want to determine, 0.01 molar, and that is what we're going to plug in into this equation right here. Hydronium, or H3O+, plus, is the same as the amount of hydrogen ions, because it's simply water and a proton, so you could write it either way. So now let's plug it into our equation. We have that pH of HCl is equal to the negative log base 10 of 0 0.01 molar and that is the same as 10 to the negative 2 and because our number is 10 all you want to focus on is the negative 2 superscript so what you would get from this is that the pH is equal to 2 and that is positive 2 because we have this negative here and this negative here. So don't forget about the sign in the equation. And what this is telling us is that this concentration of HCl is still very acidic. And now let's move on to the basic example. And I'm going to erase this. So here we are. Now we're looking at this right here. We have 0 0.1 molar NaOH. And again, the first thing you want to do is write this equation. So we have that NaOH is aqueous 
and that will react with water which is liquid and this will dissociate because it's a strong base and will form an A plus plus our hydroxide ion and just like we saw before we're dealing with a strong base so it will dissociate completely therefore 0 0.1 molar will also be 0 0.1 molar for the hydroxide ion and here is where you want to pay attention to what you have and what you're looking for we want to find the pH of the solution but we don't have the number of hydrogen ions or the concentration of hydrogen ions but we do have the concentration of hydroxide ions so that tells us that we can find the POH and then to find the pH we simply subtract that number from 14 so let's do that we have that the POH of this is equal to the negative, negative log base 10 of 0 0.1 so that's equal to 10 to the negative 1 and like we did with the pH you want to focus on the superscript which is negative 1 because our number is 10 so this would just be equal to 1 again careful about the sign now that we have the pOH you want to subtract 14 minus the 1 to get the pH so the pH would be equal to 13 and that tells you that NaOH is a very strong base. So that's how you calculate the pH for a strong acid and a strong base. That wraps it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Also, if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate asking us.